Welcome back, baby. Hey, spraying a lot today. If you haven't already, and you're thinking about it, but you probably should, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because we're counting up the numbers, right? The numbers are rolling. You guys that are already liked and subscribed, sure appreciate it, but today we've got, I'm gonna say we're gonna spray about 80 acres, all right? Just about 80 acres, somewhere around that ballpark. Um, gotta do a little traveling, so stick with us, and uh, Wilson Aerial Spraying, Harvest Company, back at you, baby. video for you guys today we're spraying pasture land got a little graze on next with the surfactant look at these ponies my god they're having the time of their life kind of like me but yeah back to the chemical graze on next and a surfactant that's pretty much all we're running today guys you got some high line wires running we've mapped all the way around that accordingly um, it's only about 42 acres, roughly, so.
Well, we're done for the first part of the day. We're gonna take this, uh, I think, I don't know how many acres we spread. I have to check. I think it's like 42, 45, somewhere around there. Had to get real close to the uh, edges because we had some honeysuckles growing up on the trees. Trees, no. Had some honeysuckle growing upon the fence line. You hear that beeping? Yeah, it'll go off. Seat belt, back roads, not gonna put it on. Safety hazard 101, okay? But uh, we're gonna go home. I'm literally two miles from my house. We're gonna wash these tanks out before we put Weedmaster and Grazon in our tanks. I'm, I'm totally just messed that up. It is Weedmaster and Remedy. They're so freaking many chemical names. The, the, the creators of these chemicals are like, like they're making up words like I've never heard before in my life. But anyways, guys, we're gonna clean these tanks back at my house. We're gonna stop, we're gonna get some lunch, and then we're gonna head south, knock out about 42 acres, roughly 42, 45, somewhere, just pretty much the same plot that we just did, and we're done. But we got some big jobs lined up. We got a 600 acre field that's wide open. Should be a pretty easy spray. And then we also have a, about a 285 acre pasture that we got lined up for tomorrow. It'll be really, really tough to finish that in the day because there is a lot of obstacles and we will be moving around. But for the time being, we're gonna wash these tanks, get it going, boom, bang, bing, bing, bong, see ya. Hello and welcome back to I Spray Everything Outdoors. Okay, we're in mountain country. You know what that means. Got a little elevation that we're gonna be flying. Uh, 35 acres is what I've kind of got it to a pinpoint. Um, uh, we got some lunch, right sunset quarter mark there in Spire, Oklahoma. Chop it up, baby. You know that hot box is fire, 24 seven. Um, yeah, hey, quick and easy. We're gonna fire up a hot batch of these chemicals and uh, I'm gonna fly around the edges of this because it's, the boundary's a little iffy, okay, as far as mapping. So I am going to make my own boundary and uh, go from there. Yeah, so uh, follow along, you dingbat. I repeat, we're done. It's 312. Not a bad day. Gonna go home, clean it all up, call it a wrap. Hey, check this out real quick. This uh this episode is brought to you by Don. Don Dish Show. If you're a drone sprayer, better yet, if you're a farmer, rancher, hey, obviously everybody knows a drop of Don and that bitch is gone. Okay? But little zip ties, little platinum easy squeeze, hey, boom, turn you on some water. There you go. Like I said, guys, we ran over like 80 acres. If you haven't hit the like or subscribe button, do it now or never come back. I'm just kidding. I love it. I love you guys. Thanks for uh, checking out, right? Just another day out here in the pastures. That's all we do. Harvest Co., a brand made by farmers who hunt.